Today I am going to tell you about the PR sensor. PR sensor is passive infrared sensor. Uh, it looks like this. If you open it, let me open it out. You can see there are five plastic packing which you can remove. And this is what you get. Now this is the sensor and this is the window of the sensor so what exactly it does is it allows the beam to pass straight through it then this cap tries to perfoliate or divide the beam into two to three parts so every beam gets scattered whenever any object passes through these beams the sensor senses it and this is the motion now the motion is detected by the passive infrared sensor as you can see there is some soldering done here already uh, on the back side of this board you can see four capacitors and these two potentiometers one of these potentiometers is the if, as if there are various kind of PR available in the market but uh, if you go and buy <coughs> just keep the capacitor the potentiometers in the upward direction the first capacity first uh, potentiometer is the output timing or the delay how much fast or how much slow you need to see the output and the second capacitor defines how close you want the output to be like it, it def defines the distance basically so how far would you like to get the obstacle or the motion if I if I just move it around, this defines the lesser distance and this defines the more distance. So I am keeping it at the middle. I am keeping both at the middle. So this is the delay and this is the distance. Now, as you can see, uh, <coughs> this is the uh, input voltage <coughs> controller and these three pins now how to determine the pin configuration hold these three pins below like more, uh, facing towards you then the first pin always always the first pin is ground the first pin is the ground this is the ground then comes the VCC the first pin and then comes the output so you should connect like I just show the orange wire shows VCC the black wire shows ground and the brown shows the output so now I am repeating it again, the orange wire shows VCC, the brown wire shows output and the black wire shows ground. I am going to put the cap back again. This is the processor of the device. It is named as BIS0001 and you might have been seeing this three pins. The three pins have the have jumper connected. These are the TTL outputs. From this you can get the duty cycle waveforms. I'll show it in my next like next videos how to use this pens so this is basically how PIR works if you buy it on Amazon it will cost about 100 rupees or like on eBay it's much more cheaper it's up to you where to buy <coughs> My next video will be working with this PIR onto the Arduino. Thank you for watching.